Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at simultaneous equations. Okay, simultaneous equations are two equations that are to be solved together. There are different methods of solving simultaneous equations. One of such methods is substitution method. Another one is elimination method. We also have graphical method. But in this particular video, we are going to look at how to solve simultaneous equations using substitution method. In this question, we are expected to solve for x and y in 2x plus 3y is equal to 8. 3x minus y is equal to 27. Okay? So in order to solve this, we are going to label each of the equations. Let's call this equation 1. And let's call this equation 2. For us to solve using substitution method, what we are going to do is we are going to make one of the two variables. Remember, the variables are x and y. We are going to make one of the two variables subject of the formula in one of the two equations. So let's say we want to make x the subject of the formula in equation 1. Okay, So that means x is going to be found alone on the left, and every other number and y will be taken to the right. Okay? Or we can make x the subject of the formula in equation 2. We can make y the subject in equation 1. We can also make y the subject in equation 2. Any one you want will give you the same answer at the end of the day. Okay? So let's make x the subject of the formula in equation 1. That's how we we'll start. So remember, we are using substitution method. So we are going to make x the subject of the formula in equation 1. So make x subject of equation 1. So this will give us 2x plus 3y is equal to 8. Okay? So the first thing we are going to move is plus 3y. When we move plus 3y to the right, the positive sign here is going to change to negative. So we are going to have 2x is equal to 8 minus 3y. So we move 3y to the right. What is left for us to move is 2. For us to move 2 to the right, we are going to divide both sides by 2. So we have 2x all over 2 is equal to 8 minus 3y all over 2. So 2 is going to cancel out 2. We have x is equal to 8 minus 3y all over 2. Okay, so we have made x the subject of the formula in equation 1. So let's call this equation 3. So the next thing we're going to do is substitute this value of x into equation 2. Now this is where it is very important to note. We made x the subject in equation 1. Therefore, we substitute this value of x into equation 2. If we had made x the subject in equation 2, we would have substituted into equation 1. Hope that is clear. So since we made x the subject in equation 1, we are going to substitute into equation 2. So substitute x in equation 3. So now this is equation 3 into equation 2. So this means wherever we see x in equation 2, we are going to remove it and put 8 minus 3y all over 2. So let's do that. We have 3x minus y is equal to 23. So where we have x here, we're going to remove x and put 8 minus 3y. So 3 into 8 minus 3y all over 2 minus y is equal to 23. So continuing over here, 3 is going to multiply the numerators here. We have 24 minus 3 multiplied by minus 3y is going to give us minus 9y all over 2 minus y is equal to 23. So in order to eliminate divided by 2, we are going to multiply this entire equation by 2. So 24 minus 9y all over 2 multiplied by 2 minus y multiplied by 2 is equal to 23 multiplied by 2. Okay, so 2 is going to cancel out 2. We have 24 minus 9y. Minus y multiplied by 2 is going to give us minus 2y is equal to 23 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 46. Okay, minus 9y minus 2y is going to give us minus 11y. 
So 24 minus 11y is equal to 46. So crossing over plus 24 to the right side, we are going to have minus 24. So minus 11y is equal to 46 minus 24. 46 minus 24 is going to give us 22. So minus 11y is equal to 22. For us to get the value of y, we are going to divide both sides by minus 11. So we have minus 11y all over minus 11 is equal to 22 all over minus 11. So this is going to cancel out. We have y is equal to, there is an invisible positive sign here. So plus divided by minus is going to give us minus. 22 divided by 11 is going to give us 2. So we've gotten the value of y to be equal to minus 2. The next thing we're going to do is this value of y we have here, we're going to substitute it into equation 3. We know that x is equal to 8 minus 3y all over 2. So where we have y here, we're going to put minus 2. So x is equal to 8 minus 3 into minus 2 all over 2. Okay, so minus multiplied by minus is going to give us plus. So we have x is equal to 8 plus 2. 3 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 6 all over 2. x, therefore, is equal to 14 all over 2. 14 all over 2 is going to give us 7. This means that our final answer is the value of x is equal to 7 and the value of y is equal to minus 2. So this is the solution to the simultaneous equation. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe to this channel for more mass content. See you in the next video. Bye.